This program contains some material that many parents would not find suitable for children under the age of 14. Viewer discretion is advised. That means if you're under 14, don't watch my shit. This statue is just absolutely amazing. What else do I need to say? I've never done one of these before. What's going on, YouTube, and welcome to an episode of Marvelous Statues. That's right, folks. Today is opposite day on MCE. You're wondering where George is? Well, guess what? Again, it's opposite day. It's my turn to do a statue review. <laughs> so today I've got for you guys the Iron Studios Quarter Scale Deluxe Legacy Captain America from Endgame. This thing is absolutely amazing. Um, this was from our good friends over at the Collector Zone. Please be sure to check them out. I will leave the link in the description below. They've got Mezco, NECA, Iron Studios, Sideshow, Hot Toys, you name it. They got it. And use the code MCE at checkout and you get 5% off. Yeah. So again, thank you to Marcos and his team over at the Collector Zone. I always appreciate it. Let me give you guys a super quick look at this box real fast. And then we'll go ahead and we'll open this bad boy up. <clears throat> so as you can see right here on the front you've got captain america you see the broken shield you see Mount minor milnor thor's hammer standing right there i definitely like the avengers logo on the box <clears throat> on this side not just nothing just says iron studios on that you see again captain america this time he has the full shield and then on the other side we have a another image of captain america but this time he's unmasked and it's the chris evans portrait which is really awesome so guys <clears throat> i've been super excited i've been waiting almost a little over two days to open this up so it's time to open it up so let's go oh look at that that is just awesome <clears throat> that on the floor so i'll tilt it so as you guys can see there's most of the stuff right there with the box so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna get this assembled and then i'll give you guys a better look all right guys so as you can see i have everything spread across here on the table however i am missing a piece um it's the arm with the full assembled shield but it's on its way so it's not a big, it's not a problem. So I'm not worried about that. Um, so here's the base. It's really cool. It's like all grass and rubble and everything for when the base was attacked. You guys can see right here the rebar and everything like that sticking out, which is really cool. And you guys can see right here, the bottom, it's number 767 out of 4,000. And of course, on the bottom, Avengers Endgame, Captain America Legacy quarter scale deluxe statue so here's the arm where uh, milnor goes into or minor however you pronounce it there is the body of captain america and i gotta say this this thing is just so freaking badass just the detail on the boots and the chain the chain link or river on the chest piece is just so awesome there are the head sculpts I mean, listen, this is like so Chris Evans and it's so spot on. It's so freaking cool. There's the other masked one where he's all bloody and everything. Here is the broken shield. And here are bits and pieces of the other half of the shield that actually go on the display. Here's just a hand by its fist, just by itself. Here is an arm that actually is holding the mask which is really awesome, and you guys can see all the wear and everything on the mask, which is all the battle damage and everything, which is really cool. Here's a broken part of glass of a window, and that actually goes on the display, and you'll see that fully assembled. And then here is the pieces for Minor. Now, I'm a little upset about this because I figured it would have been made out of, like, I guess, what do they make it out of? Polyresin or polystone, whatever it's made of. But this is like almost like a plastic 
So it's kind of disappointing, but the detail on it is still really cool. And also the handle is plastic as well too, with the, at least the strap is leather. But this is pretty cool. So guys, I'm going to get this fully assembled right now, and then I'll give you guys a better look once it's put together. All right, guys, so here it is fully assembled, as you guys can see. There he is holding the hammer. There's the broken shield. There is the battle-damaged portrait, which is awesome. There's the broken window, which goes in there. It's like a little peg right here. You can also take these bits and pieces of broken shield and kind of just, you know, you know, put them in there to give it that effect, which is really kind of cool, which is what they're kind of there for. But man, this thing is freaking awesome. So let's go ahead, let's swap out this head real fast. The magnets on these are actually really good. So there's that version with him like that. And then what we can do is we could take out this arm right here and then plug this arm in with the him holding the helmet. And that is just as freaking cool. Oh my God, I'm so in love with this thing. This is so awesome. I don't know. I still kind of like this one. But yeah, this this one, um, it's growing on me. And I have a place for it right there where it's going where Hulk is. It's going right there in front of Captain America's shield. Oh my god, this thing is so freaking badass. Alright guys, I'm just overly floored about how amazing this is. The detail, the texture, the sculpts. I mean, everything. I'm absolutely in love with this statue. And when I look at it, it just gives me... The feels, especially remembering the part in the movie where he picks up Thor's hammer and starts fighting Thanos. Oh my god. Everybody knows that. That is like the best part out of the whole movie because goddamn, does that give you the feels, the audience cheering, everything. God, I'm so in love with this. I'm so in love with this. I can't believe I actually went out and got this. I mean, this thing is just awesome. Oh man, statues. Statues. I have to stay away. I have to stay away. I have to stick to Marvel Legends and Pops and Hot Toys. I'm not getting into the statue game. <laughs> I can't. I can't afford it. The Hot Toys are draining me enough as it is. Um, so if I had to give my overall opinion on this statue, I would give this a rating of... Fuck yeah! And yeah. So guys, thanks for watching me do my very first statue review. Um, I know it was funny to... You know, not see George and see me, which is really funny. You know, but it's opposite day on MCE, so we're good. So, guys, once again, I'll leave the link in the description below for the Collector Zone. Be sure to check them out. Use the code MCE at checkout, and you get 5% off your purchase. And they carry Iron Studios, Sideshow, Hot Toys, Me uh, NECA, Mezco. They got it all. And they're awesome, because you need to get in that zone. Collector Zone. <laughs> so, guys... If you like what you saw, please be sure to give a thumbs up. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe. As always, be sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time I don't do a statue review, but George does a statue review. And as always, you can check out all the excellent content we offer at mcecentral.com. And until next time, guys, keep it marvelous. All I look, all I want to do is just stare at this thing and keep going, America, fuck yeah. Come in again and save the motherfucking day, yeah! <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you on the next one.